Have you ever stumbled upon an aircraft so distinctive that it sticks in your mind for days? The Havilland Vampire is one such plane. Launched in the mid-20th century, this British marvel stands out as a pioneer in jet propulsion, a technology that was still in its infancy. Its unique design, a combination of elegance and functionality, made it instantly recognizable. The aircraft's twin boom tail and innovative materials like wood added to its distinctiveness. But it wasn't just aesthetics that set the Vampire apart. As the world grappled with the aftermath of World War II and the evolving face of aviation, the Vampire emerged as a tribute to British engineering expertise and a beacon of technological advancement. Its versatility and adaptability ensured its deployment in various roles, from combat to training, earning it a storied place in aviation history. Now, to understand the Vampire's historical significance, let's delve into its origins and how it took flight amidst the whirlwinds of World War II. Amidst the tumultuous backdrop of World War II, as nations raced to dominate the skies, Britain introduced the Vampire, hot on the heels of its predecessor, the Meteor. While the Meteor holds the distinction of being Britain's first operational jet fighter, the Vampire carved a niche for itself due to its adaptability. Initially designed as a high-altitude interceptor, the Vampire's functionality didn't end there. It soon took on various avatars, transitioning from its primary combat role to become an adept trainer and an efficient night fighter. This versatility ensured it wasn't merely a wartime wonder, its services extended well into the years following the war. In many ways, the Vampire encapsulated the essence of British resilience and ingenuity during a time of global conflict. Such a rich history and diverse deployment set the stage for the Vampire's groundbreaking design, which was nothing short of revolutionary for its time. Emerging from the shadows of its predecessors and the lessons learned during World War II, the Vampire showcased design elements that were ahead of their time. The Havilland engineers didn't merely seek to improve upon existing jet designs, they aimed to revolutionize them. This ambition was evident in the Vampire's signature twin boom tail, a feature that not only set it apart aesthetically but also optimized its aerodynamic performance. The use of lightweight materials and an innovative approach to its structural integrity showcased a commitment to advancing aviation technology. This wasn't an aircraft developed to merely match its contemporaries. The Vampire was designed to lead, to pave new pathways in the realm of jet propulsion and airborne warfare. The marriage of form and function was integral to its groundbreaking design. With such an innovative foundation, it's no wonder the Vampire achieved feats that further accentuated its remarkable characteristics. Taking inspiration from the natural world, the Vampire bore an uncanny resemblance to a bat in flight, making it easily distinguishable amidst the pantheon of aircraft from its era. However, its iconic twin-boom configuration wasn't just a stylistic choice. Drawing upon the need for enhanced stability and better aerodynamics, the Havilland's engineers envisioned this design to circumvent challenges posed by early jet engines. By distancing the tail structures from the jet exhaust, they could maintain the efficiency and performance of the engine while reducing potential heat damages. Furthermore, this design allowed for a shorter jet pipe, thereby conserving power and enhancing overall thrust. In essence, the twin-boom configuration was a masterclass in innovation, marrying practicality with aesthetics. This fusion of form and function didn't stop with its configuration. Another intriguing aspect of the Vampire's design was its choice of construction material. In an age when metal dominated the realm of aviation, the Vampire made a surprising choice to embrace wood in its construction. While it might seem counterintuitive to modern sensibilities, this decision was steeped in practicality and innovation. Just as its twin boom design was a breakthrough, its incorporation of wood, particularly in the fuselage and wings, was a nod to both tradition and pragmatism. By using wood, designers achieved a lightweight yet robust structure, ensuring the aircraft was agile in the air while conserving fuel. This choice was reminiscent of the famed de Havilland Mosquito, another British aircraft, which was lovingly termed the Wooden Wonder. The Vampire continued this legacy, seamlessly blending the organic with the mechanical. This ingenious use of materials was just one facet of the Vampire's multifaceted operational journey. The Vampire's influence extended far beyond its wooden frame and bat-like silhouette. In the rapidly evolving post-war aviation landscape, the Vampire emerged as a linchpin for future jet designs. It showcased that jets, with their unparalleled speed and power, were not mere wartime novelties but the future of aviation. Through its various iterations and upgrades, the Vampire provided invaluable insights into the challenges and opportunities of jet-powered flight. Its operational successes and adaptability set a precedent, placing Britain at the forefront of jet technology during the early Cold War years. This period saw an intense race for aerial supremacy among global powers, with the US and the USSR heavily investing in jet research. Amidst this backdrop, the Vampire stood tall, not just as a British icon but as a global symbol of innovation and progress. Its adaptability was further illustrated by its service in diverse terrains and roles worldwide. The Vampire's prowess wasn't confined to Britain's skies, its wings stretched across the globe, touching diverse landscapes and climates. 
From navigating the frosty challenges of Canada's airspace to enduring the scorching heat of the Middle East deserts, the Vampire was a testament to adaptability. It wasn't merely a question of durability but a showcase of its design's universal applicability. Over its service life, this remarkable jet was embraced by more than 30 air forces worldwide. Each deployment offered new challenges and lessons, from adjusting to different altitudes and climates to meeting varied operational demands. Yet, at every turn, the Vampire demonstrated resilience, underlining its role as a reliable workhorse of the skies. Its global service reinforced its status as a pioneering aircraft, embodying the spirit of collaboration and shared progress in the world of aviation. But like any innovation, the Vampire faced its set of challenges and criticisms. Even as the Vampire soared to new heights and etched its name in the annals of aviation history, it wasn't immune to the hurdles that come with pioneering technologies. The early jet engines, while revolutionary, were also temperamental. They presented issues related to fuel consumption, maintenance, and overall reliability. The Vampire, being among the first generation of jet fighters, had to grapple with these technological teething problems. Additionally, as aviation technology rapidly advanced in the post-war era, the Vampire began to face stiff competition from newer, faster, and more advanced jet designs, especially from the burgeoning aviation industries in the US and USSR. Critics were quick to point out its limitations in comparison to these newer models. Yet, despite these challenges, the Vampire's lasting impact cannot be understated. Its enduring legacy is not just in its technological achievements but also in its unique place in aviation lore. The Vampire's introduction in the aviation world was groundbreaking, but like any pioneer, it bore the weight of being an early entrant in the jet age. Though cutting edge for its time, the Vampire's jet technology had inherent constraints. Its engines, being among the first generation of turbojets, couldn't match the raw power and efficiency that later advancements would bring. This limitation manifested in restricted top speeds and ceiling altitudes, which, while impressive for the era, were quickly surpassed by subsequent jet designs. As aviation giants like the US and USSR accelerated their research and development, newer aircraft began to overshadow the Vampire in raw performance metrics. However, judging the Vampire solely on these evolving benchmarks might be unjust. It was, after all, a product of its time, representing a crucial step in the evolutionary ladder of jet aviation. This step was foundational, setting the stage for subsequent innovations and marvels of aviation history.